Hey everyone, welcome to Front of the Apps, I'm Minty, and this is episode 42 of the Airship Armageddon Tournament. In this episode, we have the Brave Sir Robin by Pyrotech. Going up against the Coffins by Dantist123. That is correct, BRM. Robin versus Coffins. That's how the votes came out. Yeah, they... <laughs> they, they got... Uh, a little bit of DQ in the one second that the battle ran while I loaded things in, yeah. Yep, I'll do the prediction right now. Who will be victorious? Either the Robin or the Coffins. You've got one minute. Go ahead and place your bets. And we'll get this battle underway. So Robin's a bit outnumbered, but it does have Sea Whiz to help counter those missiles. We'll see how well it does. It seems to be doing quite well. It just stopped every single missile from the coffin's initial bombardment. And it has smoke to prote protect against the lasers. So defensively, the Robin's looking pretty good right now. But offensively, the coffins are pretty hard to take down. They lose health fairly easily, but they're sturdy. They don't crash until they get until they get really low on life, or if you get kind of lucky. Whereas on the other hand, the Robin kind of has a tendency to crash. Eighty-eight percent to Robin, twelve percent to Coffin. <laughs> oh wow! We'll see. Robin's changing targets way too much. Really needs to be focusing an enemy down rather than constantly changing between targets like this. Mitch was the only coffin voter. <laughs> If you're right, Mitch, you're gonna steal everybody's channel points. So far, the Robin is in the lead. Yeah, these shots to the flanker, not doing the Robin any favors. Ooh, dodging missiles there. Oh, one of the coffins is dead. When did that happen? Did it just now happen? I just saw it. I was not expecting that. I was expecting if one was going to die, it would be the one that Robin was shooting at. Ah. Uh, 
it may have been damaged to the point that it couldn't keep up. Or maybe it lost yaw control. Now this coffin is taking some heavy damage. One of its lasers have been disabled. What's the other coffin doing? Uh, it's getting DQ time. Is what is it? Is what it's doing? It lost yaw control. It can't turn to engage the robin. Kaboom! Robin is totally weaponizing the rules, right? And it's a valid tactic. Uh-oh. This coffin has no lasers remaining. It's only the first round. We've seen far bigger comebacks than this. Coffin has just been chewed up. Especially the wood now, the RS. Hey, boss man. I'm sure there will be more than a couple wood spammers in Battleship Brawl Season 6. Oh, 
How's this? Is Robin even gonna be able to get this thing down in time? I think I just heard an engine pop. In the coffin. Coffin's losing altitude. Slowly but surely. And down it goes. 93.6 for the Brave Sir Robin, zero for the Coffins. <laughs> Wait, I don't have to do that. All right, here we go, round two. That, uh, what's it called? Ducked. It was under attack there for a moment. Losing that yaw thruster could be bad for the Sir Robin. Brave Sir Robin's actually behind in HP this time. Hey, I can function. But you can see that trail of blocks falling off of the... Uh coffin up there. I don't know if the Robin Seawiz are able to get a shot on those missiles. One of them gets dodged, but the other one lands. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Brave Sir Robin lost a barrel on its main gun. Can a 1,000 meter long Titan be considered a gatekeeper? Uh, no. Because if I have that as a gatekeeper, that means I have to allow it as an as an entry possibility, and a thou and two 1,000 meter long ships will probably break my PC. <laughs> among the coffins. Oh yeah, I guess they are kind of rubbing. They're kind of one's kind of sitting on the other. Sir Rubbin. <laughs> Yes, exactly, BRM. Two Super Coast Busters would be bad. HP-wise, vehicles, both sides are tied right now. Bossman redeems feed the fuzzy ones. Neither of which are around at the moment. <laughs> they're, they're both in the bedroom snoozing. I will make sure to give it to them after the stream, if nothing else. Oh, hey, wait a second. I picked up the treat bag and suddenly the dog appeared. <laughs> Funny how that works. Hey, Ellie girl. Can you go have a treat? Have loves doggy, right? Brave Sir Robin got that wedge wedge defense going on there. Bravester Robin is behind by a little bit over 1%. Hey, Panther Cat. You want a treat? See if that brings him. Racer Robin switching targets yet again. Oh, I think the smoke on the uh, the Brave Sir Robin has stopped. That's why it's taking so much damage all of a sudden now. Oh, there it goes. Now it's on again. It was off there for a second. I think. Or wait, is that actually smoke or is that just from the jets? It's a little hard to tell sometimes. Missile hit. Yep, one of the coffins is about to DQ. There it is, kaboom.
Looks like this, the dual purpose sea whiz on this side has been knocked offline. So Robin's getting a little wild there with his flight pattern. Okay, it's steadied back out. Ooh. You're going a little high there, Robin. Careful. <laughs> Robin is smokeless again. Yep, yeah, Robin is in the lead. God, that's so high. That's gotta be really close to the altitude limit. All right, but well, that's the end of round two. Robin, 75.6, Coffin, 51.6. Things are looking pretty bleak for the Coffins right now. Your airship versus Sir Robin? What do you mean? Oh, the salvage versus Sir Robin? I mean, I could put that on the list for an exhibition match. Everybody wants to fight the salvage. <laughs> true so we can't do it right now but by the time we get to the uh the end of the exhibition list the tournament will probably be over we have a lot of exhibitions lined up Robin is down. Lost the thruster. 98.420. Or no, 0 to 98.4. Sorry. Which makes it 56.4250 in favor of the Sir Robin. Very, very close. But Sir Robin does take it, just barely. For the uh, the combat port combat portion, anyway. The vote could go either way. The 
the vote is going to be very decisive in this match. But yeah, that'll be the end of this episode, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the battlefield.